Hey everybody, good to see you again. Uh, greetings from Route 17 in upstate uh, New York. And for rock and roll fans, uh, this is a, a pilgrim's trail because 40 years ago this weekend, this road, well, it looked like this as half a million people descended on Woodstock. The early bird hippies got here on Thursday, staked out a great spot right here, right in front of the stage, which is at the bottom of the amphitheater. They passed out and then woke up Friday morning to be surrounded by a sea of humanity. And while obviously there were a lot of factors working on the brains of those in attendance, some chemical, some ideological, the one thing we do understand a lot better 40 years later is the effect of music on the human brain. Neurologists were recently surprised to discover that music stirs the entire brain. Even the reptilian, primitive part that normally just helps you walk but doesn't do any fancy stuff like emotion. And it turns out that the brain gets off by trying to anticipate what notes are coming next. And this is illustrated brilliantly by 10-time Grammy winner Bobby McFerrin at this summer's World Science Festival. See, our brains get an extra shot of dopamine when we correctly anticipate the next note. But we also get a shot of that feel-good chemical when our brains are surprised. And because we are tribal animals, the more people you experience this with, the deeper that experience is seared into your brain. Now we can all debate what all those people accomplished by hanging out in the mud for a weekend 40 years ago, but I guarantee we wouldn't still be talking about it, and it never would have happened without music. You are what you are.